Hello guys, this is CH from VoteParkSource.com and here's a quick troubleshooting error when trying to redirect a page with PHP by using the header function. So are you guys looking at this error? Cannot modify header information, header already sent by yada yada yada. Okay, so we need to turn output buffering on and there's two ways we can go about this. For PHP functions that have already been compiled, like the header function, as well as PHP functions that us users create. So first let's go ahead and just do the header function because that's a PHP function that has already been compiled and let me go ahead and just create some new PHP tags. We'll close this out and we'll just redirect this to um, about yahoo.com. We'll go ahead and close that out. And let's go ahead and save this, and I'll just put this in my XAMPP root folder. Where's htdocs? I'll just save it to this folder right here, and I'll just call it um, header head.php because I think I already have a header in this file. Okay, and I am on localhost. So let's go ahead and run this. So I'll just go to localhost wow head.php and it should redirect us to Yahoo okay perfect so it worked okay but see what happens here when we have any form of HTML just write hello world even though this, this isn't in HTML tags now let's go ahead and save it and let's go back to our page nope from the top we'll go localhost what do we call it wow head.php and it says, okay, cannot modify header information because yada, yada, yada. Okay, so because this function has already been compiled, this header function right here, what we need to do is we need to track down our php.ini files. So I'm going to go ahead and go back to my applications. I'm on a Mac, but it's this will work on a PC as well. Go to XAMPP, and my file is in my etc. folder. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to right-click right here on php.ini, open this up with TextMate, and I'm going to scroll down to... What do I want to scroll down to? I want to scroll down to output buffering, and I want to turn this on. Give it a space there. Don't put a semicolon at the end of this. I'm going to save this, but for this to work properly, we need to go ahead and turn our server off. I'm on ZAMP right now, so I'm going to turn Apache off. It's going to ask for my password. It's okay because I remembered it. And now I'm going to turn it back on. Perfect. Okay, so now let's go ahead and try this. And let's go to head.php now and let's refresh it. Okay, it worked because our output buffering is on, so HTML is, or anything, PHP can now work with the HTML. But say that we had a function that us users created, so say we were using this header way too much, or we were re redirecting way too much of this page, and we wanted to go ahead and create our own function. Well, let's go ahead and do that now. Let's go ahead and I'll just get rid of this and I'll give it another PHP tag and I'm just going to go ahead and create a function in here. You can call it anything you want, but I'm going to call it redirect. And I'm going to create a variable called location and I'm going to set it to null. And then I'm going to execute an if else statement. So if location is not equal to null, then Let's create our header up here, and we'll just go ahead and create this location to, we'll just go to Yahoo again, if you guys are okay with that. Yahoo.com, and I'll close this out. And now in here, let's go ahead and use our user-defined function. So instead of here, so instead of using header, I'm just going to call our function. You can either type function or not. It works the exact same way. So I'll do redirect, and I'll use our variable right there. I'm going to put it in single quotes. And I'm going to close it out. But since it's a user-defined function, we need to use the PHP function of ob start, I'll put buffering start, and then what do I want to do? I'm going to close it out at the bottom, so I'm going to do PHP ob end 
flush. Let's save this, and now let's go ahead and reload head.php. So I'm going to go to localhost. We can't just reload it because it's just going to keep reloading Yahoo. So let's go from the top. So I'm going to type in head right there, and it should still work. Okay, so we have a, we figured out how to redirect a page with a PHP compiled function like header, or if we want to create our own function like redirect, we know how we just need to add the PHP function of ob start and then ob end flush. All right, guys, thanks for watching this, and maybe I'll see you in another video.